So I came across some of the funniest stuff I've seen on Twitter in the past few weeks. So, guys, you know, I don't like scalpers. I've never have. One of my most popular videos before I kind of revamp my channel for this channel was one just dogging on scalpers, calling scalpers idiots for the products they were choosing to scalp, and just kind of making fun of a few different scalpers I found on uh, platforms like Facebook or Instagram. And there was a lot of people that got mad at it. A lot of scalpers who were getting mad at my thoughts on scalpers, and I'll be honest, if you're a scalper watching this video, I don't like you. But to be fair, if we're being honest, I think scalping is a much, much harder thing to do in the Pokemon hobby today than it was a few years ago. And I think we're long and away from any form of like proper scalping. The Japanese market's over flooded with product. The Pokemon English market's over flooded with product. And all the limited products, even the limited products are not in demand as they once were to the point that they're always selling under retail. So somebody who goes out and buys what looks like almost pallets of product of something that is just made to sell at a discount, such as DC and Skyboxes that you see here, moving them at a massive profit like this person is trying to do, and we'll talk about it in just a second, it doesn't work like it used to. If this was three years ago, this guy probably could have sold all these boxes within an hour of posting them. But we're going to see a post in a minute that this guy is pretty much struggling to sell any of it. And I'm going to talk about why this person failed at scalping. So here are the Pokemon C and Sky boxes. For those of you that don't know, these boxes contain 14 packs of Pokemon cards uh, of Crown Zenith. And they contain a Rayquaza and a Kyogre V card. Just regular Vs. No promos, no exclusive arts, anything like that. Just regular V cards. Here is your listing right here. You do get a Rayquaza and a Kyogre in terms of... Uh, I don't know if these are Cosmo Foil or if these are regular rares. I'm going to assume that they're probably Cosmo Foil. But look, the regular V and the regular uh, V are in the box, guys. These are nothing more than just Pokemon trying to move out product at a discount just to get rid of it. They're trying to move past this product and move into more product, print out more product. So they're bundling 14 packs and just a bunch of old cards, a bunch of cards that are not really desirable, a bunch of cards that are at bulk prices and are to a box for $40 at Sam's Club for you to be able to purchase this box if you want to continue opening Crown Zenith. Now, this individual here, which we're not going to name, I don't know what Facebook group this was part of or what Discord, they bought a stack of boxes. This is clearly at least a half a pallet's worth, maybe more, maybe less, but it is a large quantity. And they're literally saying 75 per box. So considering this person probably has a business license and probably got tax free on all of these boxes, they're probably making 30 to $35 in profit per box. And then if you're selling in boxes of six, it's 10, $15 shipping. So you take that off. They're making a couple hundred per every six sold. And then you're selling in the quantities of 12, making even more money because you're saving on shipping. Now, they did say they could possibly negotiate it's little, a uh, slightly lower, prob so probably $65 a box if you wanted to buy like 30 of them at a time. But looking at this, we see here that this individual was trying to sell all these boxes at a massive markup from that $40 price tag. The problem with this is that he's actually reaching above what market would be for loose packs. And there's nothing in these boxes that make you want to spend extra, right? Because Crown Zenith boxes, right? You can go buy Crown Zenith loose packs. You can go buy ETBs and all sorts of other Crown Zenith products readily available. If you have a Walmart that's not super busy, there's probably a good chance that the Crown Zenith tins are sitting on the shelf at a discount at $15, I think because those are still readily available on store shelves. So people are not going to overpay for a product like this. Now, if this guy was willing to sit for maybe six, eight months, he could probably get these prices for these boxes. If he wanted to sit on this amount of product, that's fine. But to be fair, this is probably a four digit purchase that he's trying to do quick flip so he can get his money back. He probably paid with that credit card with the high interest rate. And now he needs to make his money back before he gets charged with those interest fees. And then he's losing all of his profits paying interest. But we see here that you got all these boxes purchased. 
Socrates called him out saying pimping ain't easy, just making fun of him. And then Socrates point out that somebody, that the same guy posted if anybody wants to buy 700 packs of Crown Zenith in a Discord. That means this guy was getting no bites. Nobody was biting. Nobody was taking that bait. Nobody was uh, nibbling on that bait in the water trying to, he's not getting any buyers, right? Because ain't nobody wanting to buy at these prices. Sure, you could probably go over to TCG Player and sell these products for this markup. There have been a few that have sold for 80 something dollars. But once again, those people paying this $80 price tag, you're overpaying compared to market because you're paying more per pack. Unless you value these promos at like $10 a piece. You're paying more for pack than what you would pay buying these packs loose. On top of that, you see here that only a few people even have these in, uh, in stock. And most of them are probably people who scalped these out from their local Sam's Club when they were visiting. So, sure, you could say that the market on these boxes are this price, but nobody truly is paying these besides these few sales right here. These few sales of people actually buying these boxes at markup. And I don't know if these are legitimate customers or if there's people buying these to try to set the market for these boxes at this price. So that way people can dump a lot of them at this price and get them moving at that price. But... Going back to the idea of these boxes and why this guy failed so miserably is because once again, these Crown Zenith products, most of them are pretty readily, readily available. The more Pico box, the one with these seven packs in the play mat, my distributor still has these boxes in stock. I think it's the Premium Treasures collection. My distributor still has them. $28 a box, I can get them in stock and I can turn around and sell them for 35. Or I could rip them open and sell the, uh, sell the loose packs and keep the play mat and save on shipping and probably sell for $60. These tins, these international ones, I have seen at my local Walmart as of this last week. ETBs, most vendors still have ETBs in stock. My Walmart constantly restocks the uh, Reggie Alecki boxes. The Reggie Alecki and the Reggie Drago boxes, those are still available. The only products that are a little bit harder to find, and even then, you can still find them at a fair price. The Crown Zenith Pin Collections, the Lugia and Unknown V Boxes, and then the Pikachu um, V Max Special Collections. And even then, these boxes are not massively marked up. So Crown Zenith, guys, is readily available. It is easy to find. There is not hard to find on the market right now. So somebody scalping out all of these boxes right here, gonna have a hard time moving them because people have been readily available or Crown Zenith has been so readily available that the people who have wanted it have been buying it up. There is no demand to pay this massive markup for these boxes. This guy is probably better off breaking down these boxes and selling them in bundles of 36 for like $150 and then just recouping a little bit of the money he got back because nobody is gonna be buying these boxes at these massive markups. Sure, there's a couple of TCG player cells, but there's not enough cells that make sense, right? There's only seven cells in total for this product on TCG player at that massive markup. And once again, those could be fake cells to try to set the market for this product on TCG player. But once again, you could buy all different kind of products that are available that come with better promo cards, that come with uh, better items for cheaper and for Mar uh, for MSRP or lower. So that is why this guy right now was trying to look for those 700 packs of Crown Zenith and trying to move them because they bought a ton. And if you go and do 700 divided by 14, that means this person bought 50 boxes or are stuck on 50 boxes that they cannot move at these markups. So they're trying their best to move them elsewhere. Guys, scalping in this hobby is very rare now. It is gonna take an extremely limited product or something that is exclusive to like Pokemon Center for people to even be able to scalp it anymore. Because Pokemon is oversaturated the market to the point that scalping is not easy. Like Sakura's Card Shop said, pimping ain't easy, scalping ain't easy. And it's just funny to see something like this happen. Like somebody's still trying to do it in 2024 when it's just no longer feasible. People are not paying these prices. And unless you're willing to sit on the product until you can get the price that you want for it. Guys, Pokemon's not a hobby for you if that's all you're trying to do is make a profit off of retail bought stuff. If you're going to a retail store, Sam's Club, Walmart, and trying to buy stuff to flip 
for a massive profit, it is no longer feasible. Most of the Pokemon market right now is no longer feasible for massive profit lines. Even your card shops that get at a distro level are working with low margins now and they can't move certain products. So guys, if you're out there scalping, it's time to stop. It's time to go into rehab. It's time to recover or go back to sports where it's a little bit easier or go find another hobby where it's a little bit easier. Go back to sneakers because Pokemon is just no longer easier to scout. Anyways, with that being said, guys, that's it for this video. Let, uh, throw some laughing emojis down in chat. I would ask your opinion, but I think most of the actual Pokemon community can agree that this guy was a clown. So let's just throw laughing emojis in the chat at this guy. Um, with that being said, guys, that's it for today's video. Remember, as always, to keep it awesome.